Welcome to another episode in the 23 part collection. This is 23 Michael Jordan videos in 23 days all through December. Today we are looking at the day that Dikembe Mutombo made MJ mad, which led to the famous dunk, and we all know this dunk, but I don't think we all know the backstory. In this video we go through all the comments made between MJ and Dikembe, we look at all the other NBA legends involved on this day, and we look at the story that led up to this crazy moment. So if you're ready for that, be sure to help me out by hitting that like button. All the likes go a long way to supporting the channel. These videos do take a long time to edit, so I'd greatly appreciate if you guys could hit that like button. Let's aim for 5,000 likes for the next episode tomorrow. Subscribe if you are new for more MJ videos through December, and hit that notification button so you're notified when a new episode releases. All the footage used in this video is located on the screen right now and in the description box down below, so be sure to check the full videos out. And there is a playlist as well in the description box so you can check out every MJ video that's been made so far. I don't want to keep you waiting, so without further ado, welcome to the story when Dikembe Mutombo made MJ mad and how it all went down. I wasn't trying to dunk him, man. I wasn't trying to dunk him. I got you, didn't I? When? Your rookie year. 25 63, just under five. The lob! Yeah! And yeah, Michael took one in the nose. Me started and Scotty. Okay. Scotty did in okay. Chicago. <laughs> Was he a trash talker? You ever trash talk you? Oh, my, Mike did. Really? And then that one makes me. A good challenge. Yeah. There's a pretty famous clip, uh, I think it was 1991, of Michael Jordan shooting a free throw. And the free throw line in Denver. Calling you out. Dribble, close your eyes like Jordan did in the game. Closing his eyes and swishing it. Why did Jordan do that? Just, just because prove, he's Jordan? Just to prove his greatness and probably to talk smack to an opponent that was trying to get under his skin. That's what he does. Dikembe Mutombo told us an interesting story of a conversation between him and Michael Jordan. Mike approached me and I said, he said, uh, welcome to the league, rookie, but I'm going to be the first one to dunk on you. And uh, I told Mike, uh, you never will. Game of the Clippers. And in second place, Atlanta lost, so that widens the margin for the Bulls. Makes it, what, three games now, right? He closed his eye and he shot a free throw and he banged her. There, 37 for Michael. Final shot of the game for three. Mark Macon leads it short. The Bull score a 107 to 100 victory. I just told him that he will never, it will take him for forever for him to get one dunk. And, uh, it was kind of a mistake, wasn't it? And, uh, <laughs> it, it felt challenged and they felt embarrassed. Uh, then what did you say to him at the 97 All-Star game? You can't be for real, you haven't got me yet. Huh? And the league, this is in the league? Yeah. No, I got it. No. Mike, hey, hey, don't even try it. You want me to go call Scotty? You have to call Scotty. Call more. What you call Scotty for? I haven't got you recently. Yeah, I agree with you. You haven't got me in six years. Why don't you guys just go ahead and say you can't take the camera off because that's the one that you did. I want you to listen to this and go back in the archives and get it. <laughs> Show it up. You never don't. No. He never put you on the highlight. He said, I would love to give him my poster, but it's not happening. It's not going to happen. Come on, man. All right, we're going to count you three. Bob Warren, who gets caught from here? Yeah, you can't be talking to MJ like that. It's almost like he was bored with it, too. At the end, you saw that face, he was just like, uh, don't try me. Do not try me. As we was uh, we were in New York, we were being introduced at the All-Star game, and uh, I think I was uh, the last player before him to be introduced. And when they say, uh, from the Atlanta Hawks, I came back with my pants out and put my pants back on. And, uh, and the following year later, he got, he got one dunk. He was very happy about it. It took Mike about seven years before he dunked on me. 
Really? He ranks second all-time behind only Akeem Olajuwon for the most blocks in NBA history with 3,289. Kimbe didn't set himself up. He put it into that. He put it into existence. This is, this is, this is. I know it's coming here. Later this season. <laughs> We were playing the Chicago Bulls. <laughs> that was a major disappointment. And the tip controlled by the Chicago Bulls. Ken Norman. He used to go, ooh, Michael Jordan's going to be jumping high. <laughs> <laughs> I got the best seat spinning. And, ooh. <laughs> I talked to Juanita. <laughs> He's going to get 50. <laughs> <laughs> This guy was one of the most dominant basketball players I've ever played this game. But he could not climb the Mount Mutombo. I tell Michael, okay, you can celebrate, you got one, but. Well, he got a big dunk. I was too far away when I was coming in. I have to go underneath the basket to try to reach, and I was just late. MJ. Oh, he did it! Hey, Michael shakes the finger, but he finally got his dunk on Mark Matumbo. He, we spoke at the All-Star game. He said I never dunked on him, so I just wanted to remind him that I could still dunk on him. It's a personal game. Yeah, a little bit. When he dunked on you, were you more mad they dunked on you or they stole your celebration? Doesn't he use uh, your signature? Yes, and he got fine. He came out from the beginning very aggressively. The dunk over to Kemby. You went like this, no, no. Is that something you're going to regret? No, yeah, I just, I, I, I do regret that because it's a technical foul and, you know, in, in, in retrospect, I, I'm giving the other team a point. Because he was trying he to steal. Yes, he was trying to steal my signature, which was wrong. Oh, let me get it straight. It took Michael seven years. Man cannot fly in the house of Mutombo. Maybe by putting my finger up, it will tell them that there's something wrong. He says, don't bring it in my house again. Is it true that you have a poster uh, in your basement of you blocking one of the shots? <laughs> I have a two of them. And, you have two uh, of them? Yes. Because everybody always try to talk, oh, you've been dunk on it. To remind them, listen, even the guy who said that he dunk on me once over his career, look, I did get him here. I got him before he got me, so it was, it's a reminder. I think Matumbo just woke up and said, okay, enough of this crap. But I tell you what, I got a lot of technical fouls. <laughs> I'm just going to ask you that. <laughs> I, you know what? Michael and I are still talking about this uh, until today, every time we see each other. I never look at that dunk really being dunk on. Because being dunk on is uh, someone coming ahead of you, looking at your eye, go one on one with me and trying to see if you can get there. He never tried that. And climb over you and pop one dunk on it. And I have asked Mike, why don't you take off from wherever you're taking off and dunk on me and we're coming my way. That's what you call dunk on me. He was more happy to get close to the basket where I was or where I came late. Uh, I think uh, for the fact that it took him more than seven years and a half to get one dunk, you might give him a credit, but it's not going to be an A plus, it might be a B. Uh, so it was a B dunk? That it was got... a B dunk. Okay. Uh, oh! Off the one leg. Don't give him no. Don't give him that, MJ. Man, man, he dunked on every center in the league, I feel like. Damn, like if you was a top center, you caught, you caught, a, he caught a body on you. Hey, I like the way Jordan mixed it up, though, on that one, because he came off the one leg. That's like, that's like, you know, we used to eat them collard greens. That's him two feet jumping. Then we add them ham hocks and turkey, turkey necks to the uh, to the collard greens, give it a little different flavor. You know what I'm saying? So here's the problem. 
there's this little thing called manifestation. You don't put things into the atmosphere if you don't want them to happen, right? Why the hell would the Kimbe try to brag about Michael Jordan not getting it? Oh, you never got me. You never got me. It's just a, it's a straight setup. You knew Jordan was like, probably going into that game, he was like, you know what? I'm gonna catch him tonight some type of way. And he caught him. Like, you can't talk noise to Jordan, see that? Like, he's the ultimate competitor. The black cat seeks a target. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna get it eventually. He's gonna get it eventually. And he got you, big fella. He thought he was gonna go through his career like Jordan never called me. But unfortunately, add it to the list, buddy. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to help me out by hitting that like button. Let's aim for 5,000 likes for the next episode tomorrow. Here are two new episodes that I think you will also enjoy, so be sure to check them out if you haven't. And I will catch you guys tomorrow. Take care.